Hello and welcome. Today we're going to be taking a look at Thrive Themes. Now more specifically, we're going to be taking a look at the actual themes that make up the Thrive Themes membership. So if you become a Thrive member, you can get all the information down below in the video description. You get a lot of products when you get it. You get a suite of tools for your WordPress blogs, be it Thrive Optimize, Thrive Apprentice, Thrive Quiz Builder, if you get the full membership. However, we're not going to be focusing on the plugins in this video. If you're interested in the plugins, you can actually check out the videos that we've done uh, down below in the description. Today, we're going to be focusing on the actual themes, the actual appearance uh, styles and themes that you get for your WordPress blog or site. Now, Thrive Themes membership comes with a suite of themes, as you can see here when you scroll down on your membership dashboard. Um, and we're going to be taking a look at one theme specifically, uh, in this case, Rise, the top theme here. But keeping in mind that all of these themes have a similar admin dashboard, just a, you know, slight variations depending on the theme. And what's really great about all these themes, you get 10 themes, you get responsive themes. That means they'll work across desktop, laptop, and or mobile devices. And the main focus when it comes to these themes is that of... Um, conversion based website so your your website is going to be based off of you know um, getting visitors to turn into customers to turn into subscribers so on and so forth so these themes are based off of making it easy to optimize for conversion so you'll see that across all of their themes here you can demo each and every one of them so you're, you're free to go ahead and check out the other themes and see what they look like to get a kind of feel before you apply them to your own website but again we're gonna be taking a look at specifically the rise theme here via Thrive Themes. All right, that said, you're going to go ahead and download the theme here, and then you can go to, over to your WordPress blog, and installing these themes are really simple. You get them in a uh, zip file, and then from there, you're going to go into your admin dashboard uh, for your WordPress blog, and you'd simply go to Appearance, Themes, and what you're going to do here is just go ahead and hit Add New, uh, and go ahead and upload the theme that you're going to be using. In this case, I'm going to be using Rise. So once you have the theme installed here, you'll see you have the ability to go ahead and activate the theme here, and it's as simple as clicking activate, and that will go ahead and apply the Thrive theme to your blog, of course. So from there, let's go ahead and demo what the theme uh, kind of looks like by default, along with the options that you get uh, within your Thrive dashboard. So now that we've gone ahead and applied that, let's go ahead and refresh the home page here. So we're going to go ahead and open it, and you can see it's applied the basics of the theme to my current blog so it took my current post imported them and you can see here this is just a sample blog here you have a basic theme in this case this is just the latest post so it hasn't applied the templates yet but if we go into the thrive dashboard here you can see on our menu we'll now have a couple options now you can see i have a couple of the other thrive plugins that i've been um, testing out here applied but again we're just focusing specifically on the theme here you can see now that i've installed rise theme i have options now to go ahead and edit it if I click on the triple dots here, I even have options to go ahead and go into things like tutorials, support, and or page templates. Page templates is really useful when it comes to Thrive Themes because it gives you some page settings for you to get started in customizing your overall experience with that theme. So for example, you can see the website name, company name, contact page, your company address, and you can go ahead and update all that information along with page templates. So you can go ahead and go to page templates and let's say I wanted like a download page or an email confirmation page. And again, that's why I said focusing on that conversion when it comes to Thrive Themes, um, they really put that first and foremost. So you can generate these pages that you may need right off the bat. In this case, I'm just gonna go ahead and start with the home page. So I'll say generate selected page. And it's gonna go ahead and generate me a home page here. So now if I click on view, I now have that rise home page that I saw when I was demoing the um, theme but now I also have my post imported here so you can see it automatically imported my latest post you can see um, a couple of reasons you know why thrive or rise via thrive themes is a really great theme to have so you have a couple options here and then you can go ahead of course edit all of this to customize based off of your site and your preference now when it comes to editing the actual theme here if I go back to my uh, admin dashboard within WordPress so let's go ahead and thrive dashboards here I can go ahead and go to the theme options for Rise. And now I have a lot of other stuff that I can go ahead and customize here. You can see I have general settings. I can change the logo. I can change the logo background. I can go into style and layout settings and change the color scheme if I want that to be like a red rather than a blue. If I want it to be a full width site versus, you know, a just default kind of sidebar, post and sidebar. Um, I can change the sidebar to left or right alignment, turn on extended menus, so on and so forth. So I can save some of these changes here. Um, I can also go other things here. You have blog settings. So this allows you to adjust things like the featured images on your post, whether you want them wide or a thumbnail view. So if I want a thumbnail view, I can go ahead and change that. Um, 
meta tag info so author name post date post category all of these stuff i can change to my likings of course analytics and scripts if you want to go ahead and import those um, overall performance with the site how you want it to compromise uh, optimize your images so if you want them to compress or not um, lazy comments if you want those on or off um, comments in general if you want to go ahead and adjust how those look and feel you can even enable things like facebook comments um, social media integration, so sharing buttons, Twitter, Facebook, Google+, those sort of things if you want those enabled on your blog so that your users can share your posts uh, and generate more traffic that way. Um, you can go ahead and adjust that. The 404 page, your error page, you can kind of customize what that looks and feels like. And last but not least, the related post page if you want to go ahead and activate that, you can go ahead and do so. After which, you save all your changes, you go through that. Again, you can change it based on your likings and your preferences. And um, then if I re go ahead, if I go back to the website here and refresh, you will see we've applied that um, red theme and you know other changes that you may have applied in that Thrive Themes options. But taking that a bit further, if you go into your appearance under Thrive Themes and you click on Customize, you now have the ability to edit um, kind of similar features. So you have a more of a what you see uh, editor here for in terms of like the site identity fonts and stuff like that so you can customize more options when it comes to um, the theme itself and the look and feel background images home page settings menus widgets those sort of things um, however let's go ahead and look at kind of customizing pages within the new thrive themes or the new rise theme uh, specifically you also notice that rise here or thrive themes automatically notifies you that your image thumbnails if they're not optimized for that theme that you're using in this case rise you can actually just click here to automatically resize the thumbnails and that will automatically fix your images um, and again this kind of relates to the menu we were just in where you can change the optimization and the image resize here if you want to use a wordpress default or scale and crop depending on your preference so if i want to create a new page or even post within um you know rise i can go ahead and add a new post here and then I have the ability to go ahead and you know, enter the title, so on and so forth. Now, I have the ability to do a couple of things within Thrive Themes. You get to take advantage of a lot of the great stuff that they offer here within their themes. So for example, I can have a test post here. So this is a test post. And I can have test content, right? Um, but with Thrive Themes, I have the ability to use what are called Thrive Short Codes to implement certain things within my themes. So I can click on Thrive Short Codes here, and you can see I can have like a headline focus so if I wanted a headline so I'll say this is a headline and I can go ahead and align that however I want I'll insert that it's automatically going to insert the thrive short code here and I'll go ahead and add another one just to kind of show you some examples you have a bunch of different stuff you can add with thrive short codes so you can add things like a countdown for a conversion they have different themes here um, numbers and data count content reveal other options here so if you want to add a video within your post if you want to add a follow button so all this interactive content that you can add to a page or a post I'm going to go ahead and add a progress bar here. So I'll say progress, and I'll just put the fill percentage at 80%, for example. We'll leave that blue. And then you can add more progress bars if you want to do that. And you can you know, choose to you know, progress two, for example. And I'll say that one's 100% filled, and we'll change that to red, and we'll insert those. So that inserts the Thrive short codes. And if I preview that here, this is what a new post will look like with that Thrive short code. So you can see this is a headline. This is that you know progress bar and you can see how easily it's structured that post here uh, just using those thrive short codes in this new rise theme here so really simple really easy however I know short codes may be a little bit confusing for some people it is code essentially um, so the great thing about that is you can actually use something called thrive architect this is a plugin that comes with thrive themes if you're a full-on member and what this is this is a full what you see is what you get editor or WYSIWYG editor meaning you can literally just drag this stuff in so you, you have this progress bar here that I made and I can you know I can go ahead and uh, click on that and you can see I can edit the content here but I can literally just drop the stuff in so if I wanted like a fill counter I could just drop it in right here I can you know edit what I want the fill counter to kind of say or whatever the details I can save that and that's automatically integrated in this post the same would be if I was editing a full-on page if I was creating an entirely new page um, and I was setting that up I can have like a lead generation page or something I can drop the content in so I can have this lead generation box and you can see you have all of these simple elements that you can drop in and it's completely what you see is what you get so you, you drop it in you you customize the page to your liking or post to your liking and that's what you're gonna see on your blog it's really that simple so again if you want to check that out we have a whole video on Thrive Architect where we go in depth of that but that's just one example of you know what you get with these Thrive themes when you're editing uh, your overall website or post or pages.
One other aspect I wanted to talk about when it comes to Thrive themes is the addition of Thrive opt-ins and focus areas. This allows you to integrate opt-in forms directly into your Thrive themes, which is really, really useful. So if you go into Thrive opt-in here on the left, you can actually go ahead and click on uh, Add New, or if you go to this menu, just click on Add New here. What you'll see here is the ability to add a new post, and this allows you to create your opt-in form. So let's say you have like a newsletter that you want users to opt-in for. So I'll just say test here. I actually have a opt-in form from MailChimp, our mail provider. So I'm going to go ahead and paste that opt-in form here. Again, wherever you're generating yours, you can go ahead and input that. Uh, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to publish it. So now that it's published, I can go ahead and tie that in here. You can see it has the field numbers. So for example, the field properties are like last name and email, whatever uh, field properties you're looking to you know, generate and ask for. In this case, I'm just going to keep it simple, last name, email. I'm going to keep this as name and we'll say email. So this is just what the field label will say. So I'll save those labels now. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose where that opt-in form appears. And this is where focus areas come into play. So focus areas are going to be, you know, specifically spots on your site where your the focus of that, you know, the main focus of that specific spot is to get people to opt in or whatever it is, you know, your newsletter. So I have a test one here. I'll go ahead and create a new one for this sake. And we'll say again, newsletter here. And what we're going to do here is we're going to go ahead and select a theme. You can see they have some really great templates here for you to choose from, but you can of course go through custom design if that's what you want to do and kind of spec it all out here with the Thrive short codes. Um, I'm going to go with this one right here, just to keep it simple, kind of fits the thing we're looking for here. And then it's going to ask you to connect it to a mailing list. So in this case, we already created that opt-in form um, and connected it to MailChimp. So I'm going to go ahead and say that test. You can see connect to a new mailing list here if you want. Um, you can click on that. Um, otherwise, you can go ahead and choose the color of what you want to go ahead and create here. So I'm going to like, I like the blue, so we'll just leave it at that. Heading text will say sign up for our newsletter. And again, this can be whatever you want people to opt in for a newsletter, you know, a product updates, um, sales, uh, so on and so forth, promotions. Uh, and then you can put in whatever you want here. This is a test. And then if you scroll down further, you have some more options here. So for example, the button text in this case, you can say like sign up if you want the button to say that or, you know, um, go, whatever you wanted to designate here. You can even add a focus image and a focus background image. In this case, I like and prefer um, just this kind of plain blue and I'll update the preview here so you can see this is the button we just added so you can really kind of customize this to your liking um, again I'm just keeping it simple here I made it just very very plain name email but you can get creative with this and you can see what it looks like you can see what it looks like with the different templates or your own custom design and then the last step is to simply go over here on the right and display choose your display option so where do you want this focus area to be displayed um, do you want it to be shown on posts? Do you want it to be shown on pages? And they have settings for this. So for example, you can show it on a blog page. You can show it on an archive page. If you click on posts here, you can say whether or not you want it to be the default focus area. And you can even define categories it shows in. This is really awesome because you can kind of define who sees that opt-in page and when. Let's say you don't want that you know, newsletter um, focus area spamming them every single time everywhere they go on the site. Well, you can define only in these categories will people see it. Only where it's relevant will people see it. And that's a really powerful thing about the Thrive focus area. And once you're all done, you simply hit update or publish. And we go back to the site. Here I have a post in that featured category like I talked about. And you'll see here at the very top, sign up for a newsletter. This is a test, that body text we put in here. You can fill in the form here, name, and of course, this is an email or you know whatever uh, you want to put um, and it would hit sign up and it would tie into that mail chimp uh, mailing list that we set up with with our opt-in form again you can tie that in whatever service you may use but it really is that simple to use a focus area you can see it just displays at the top of the post you can have it between blog posts if that's what you prefer however you want to do it it's completely up to you uh, and totally customizable Again, outside of that, you just get these themes and these home pages that you can really craft your liking. Like I said, this is the Rise theme. So here I am editing within Thrive Architect, but I can just really kind of customize this page to my liking here. This has, you know, the basic latest posts here. This has um, some, you know, counters and some uh, progress meters. You can go around, you can create this, you can, you know, edit it with the sh uh, opt in short codes. You can edit it with Thrive Architect. It's all a part of that Thrive themes package here. And that's what's really great. These themes are all based off of that. And again, they're all responsive. So you can actually see what they look like on a tablet. You can see what they look like on a mobile phone. And that's something that's really great when it comes to design because you're not neglecting any of your customers. Um, everybody can access it and you can see what that looks like across the spectrum of devices.
So that all said, if you enjoyed this Rise theme via Thrive Themes, be sure to click on the link down below to see how you can get Thrive Themes. And keep in mind there's two options when it comes to payment. You can actually just get the Rise theme by itself, a single site license for a one-time fee of $49. That includes unlimited free updates for that specific theme on your website. You can get unlimited personal license. However, a more uh, better value is to get the actual Thrive membership as a whole, as I mentioned earlier. What this includes is uh, you can choose via a 19-month uh, membership paid annually or $49 a monthly uh, depending on your needs here but this gives you access to all of their themes and all of their plugins so not only do you get the rise theme but you get 10 other themes to choose from you get the full toolbox of uh, thrive plugins so we talked about like thrive architect we talked about the um, you know thrive comments ultimatum quiz builders there's so much here that you get within um, the kind of thrive themes package as you can see here there's just so much tools for conversion for optimizing your website for getting leads and we've done videos on these so be sure to check those out too if you want to check out the individual plugins but this is a really great offer if you're interested uh, and again much better deal when it comes to what you get alongside the theme itself so that all said i hope you enjoyed this video and i hope you enjoyed thrive themes again for more information check out the links down below Thanks for watching.